Thank you. Thank you. That tune uh, is from the instrumental side of my album that I happen to have along with me today. Uh, Crazy Mary, that's the title. Is that what you asked? I wrote it about an old girlfriend of Joe Stewart's. Crazy Mary, many, many years ago. Let's go ahead and tell them that that other one we did, we just recorded it too, by the way. Sure did. We did um, an album. Uh, well, we, we sort of finished it up in Lansing, Michigan last weekend and uh, had Rule Yarber on five-string banjo and Rule enjoyed myself. Did some of the old songs like Why Do You Weep, Dear Willa and, and uh, trio style, a lot of the old songs. We hope to have it out maybe by, what, July, August, something like next that? Next year. Of next year, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you might want one of the albums, you, you can see uh, Joe Stewart's wife. She has some back there, and she also has some of Joe's uh, single records. Yeah. And he's going to be doing, I know, a couple of them in a few minutes because we've had some requests for them. I see little Roy Lewis setting a record table up right up there. You see him? Yeah, I That's see That's my him. wife sitting right there behind you. I don't want to see no flirting out of you. <laughs> we'll have no bird dogging on top of the hill. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to find you Monday, Roy. It finally come, but I couldn't find you. <laughs> Sorry. Better luck next time. Let's give Joe Stewart a hand as he sings a song, all right? Oh. I didn't know he was going to do that. I done run down for something else there. <laughs> all right. I've got, of course, I've got a new record up there on the hill. As I said new. It's new in this part of the country. I hadn't had it down here before. It's one I recorded for the Bluegrass uh, record people over in Princeton, West Virginia. And gospel song and one of the old Hank Williams songs. I'll do one of them for you in a little bit, but I just recorded uh, a new album for the API people over in Atlanta, uh, Smyrna, Georgia, Adoram in other words, better known to some people. And uh, this will be out, I guess, maybe another three or four weeks while they're waiting on a, a picture of me and I can't find no camera that'll hold up under the pressure. <laughs> this is one of the old timers. Give me some juice on the juice here. I mean, uh, thank. I need this up. No, I guess it's all right. Let's see if I can still remember how I've done it. Can't do it. Little Roy's watching me. That's what it was. Well, John Henry was a little pity boy. Sat on his pappy's knee. Picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel Said the hammer will be the death of me Hammer will be the death of me John Henry went to the mountain He looked down upon the other side The man was so tall, John Henry was so small He laid down his hammer and he cried He laid down his hammer and he cried John Henry had a little woman Her name was Polly Ann Johnny fell sick and they laid him in the bed But Polly drove that steel like a man Polly drove that steel like a man John Henry said to his shaker, Shaker, you'd better pray, for if I miss this little piece of steel, tomorrow be your burying day. Tomorrow be your burying day. Shaker, he said to John Henry, I believe this mountain's caving in. John Henry just looked at the shaker and he laughed. <laughs> Nothing but my hammer sucking wind, boss man. Nothing but this hammer sucking wind.
Yeah, that's a good tune. That's uh, it's about three times as fast as Joe recorded it, but it's a good tune. One of my favorites and uh, one of the tunes we mentioned that Joe has on the single record back here is called God Gave Noah the Rainbow Sign, and Joe does a wonderful job, has his own arrangement on it. We're going to get him to do it right now for you. song um, where'd you learn to play that fast anyway do what where'd you learn to play that fast anyhow the way i learned to play you had to do that to get out of town <laughs> <laughs> <You're> smart <Alec. laughs> how'd you get in here this evening boy there's something like that going on beg, how'd you get in here how did i get in here yeah how'd they let you through the gate up there well i come in on my pass yeah 
<laughs> he could let us do this. We're getting paid for it. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I just misunderstood you there. I, yeah. I thought you said something else. Yeah, you're thinking about how you're going out. That's <laughs> That's right. That's right. Fancy picking you was doing there. That end. That nice, lovely introduction on that tune. Thank you. You see how quick I picked it up, though, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I was noticing that. This old song. Um, we better drop it down in G, brother Joe. Um. It's on the instrumental, I mean, on the ballad side of uh, the old Homestead album that I have along, and it's probably a hundred years old, I guess, at least that old. It, uh, the only one here that would remember that would be Joe. I was three years old when I learned it. When he was young, Billy wasn't even a kid. This is called Sweet Alley Lee from Tennessee, a real old song. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back on a little bit later, and in the meantime, Joe Stewart's going to be uh, telling you about the fine acts, some of the biggest acts in the country of, of uh, bluegrass music will be coming on stage tonight and tomorrow. And uh, we thank you very much for uh, being so nice to us while we were out there. We'll see you again, what, about 9.35, uh, Joe? I don't ask you Holy way out there like that. <laughs> Can I miss uh, Back in, in February, I had... Uh, Opportunity. I spent the entire month of February over in uh, Europe entertaining the folks over there, and they do love bluegrass music in uh, Scotland. Played some in Scotland and England, Belgium, West Germany, and Holland. And uh, 
funny thing happened. I'd never been out of the United States before, and I was standing in the airport in Glasgow, Scotland, when I first got in, and a fellow come up to me and said, uh, can you tell me where is the loo? Where are we? I said, loo who? I don't think I know her. <laughs> Come to find out, he was looking for the men's room. So, if you're ever over there and somebody wants to know where the loo is, why well, you point them through the little door. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little later. Thank you. When you go through the curtain, then the next door, make a right. It's first door on your right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Red said we appreciate you being kind to us like that. You know, all uh, entertainers appreciate a good hand every now and then. Of course, last usually. What good hands I get's upside the head, you know. <laughs> maybe it's not too often. Maybe I, I sometimes get to where I'd be a pretty good fellow someday. <laughs> if any of you are interested in joining the Tar Heels fan club, see Marie sitting right here on the fourth row. <laughs> okay, we're going to carry along now and uh, bring out the gang. We're all going to join together for about 30 minutes and have some... Uh, Banjo picking, mandolin picking, guitar picking, and what have you. We're going to carry on, carry right on. Uh, you met this first gentleman earlier, Joe Stewart. Give Joe a big hand as he comes out, would you? The young man on the five string banjo has uh, just wound up a tour with Jim and Jesse and the Virginia Boys down on the Grand Ole Opry. And he's uh, getting ready to form his own group, and a real fine banjo player. And, we know you're going to enjoy him tonight, and he's going to be playing a lot for you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, give Tommy Jackson a big hand. Where are you at, Tom? Right over here. Okay. And uh, the young man with the bluegrass tar heel is going to stand in with the bass fiddle, and we appreciate him coming out and helping out. I know you met him earlier. We want to begin with uh, a good toe-tapping tune featuring Tommy Jackson on the five-string banjo. Tom, what do you feel like? Blackberry blossom, something like that? All righty. Tommy Jackson.
Thank you. We'll have Tommy uh, do a lot more picking for you as the night goes along. He does a real fine job, and uh, we know you're going to enjoy him tonight as well as tomorrow on through Sunday. There's uh, an old song Joe Stewart and myself uh, enjoy singing. As a matter of fact, uh, we recorded this one uh, a couple of months ago and on the Homestead label, and we're hoping that maybe the album will be out this time next year. They promised it in June, but look for it next year. And I recorded an instrumental album last June, and uh, they promised it in October, so maybe it'll be out next month. But we hope you like it. It's one of the real old songs called Dreaming of a Little Cabin. In dreams of yesterday, I wonder I strolled beside an old rock garden and saw familiar scenes once more. Then I heard an organ softly play. Its music came so sweet and low. And I heard my mother sweetly singing as oft I did so long ago. I was dreaming of a little Somebody called my name I looked and saw a sweet old lady And it seemed I was a child again She gently put her arms around me And kissed her little boy once more And I knew it was the same sweet mother Kissed me many times before I heard her sing the rock of ages And silver threads among the gold She told me once again of Jesus Faded Bible where the family record used to be, and I knew it was the same sweet mother that years ago had cradled me. An orphan of this world, I've wandered since mother left the old homestead. No one to pray for me at twilight. No place to lay my weary head. I miss her voice so gently calling. I miss her precious guiding hand. But I know that when I reach God's city, I will hear her call my name again. I was dreaming of a little cabin when I heard. Somebody called my name I looked and saw a sweet old lady And it seemed I was a child again She gently put her arms around me And kissed her little boy once more And I knew it was the same sweet mother that it kissed me many times before. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. I was thinking when we recorded that, we went into the last verse. I'm always doing things like that. I was going to sing, I was going to sing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's an old fiddle tune that... Uh, from the instrumental side of uh, my Homestead album, and uh, Joe Stewart also has some singles up in the back if you'd like to have one after a while. This tune, uh, Tommy's gonna take a ride on it. We're all gonna join together. It's called Whistling Rufus in the key of capital G, Brother Joe, if you're ready.
Thank you. Thank you. Dale, you want to come up and join us? Come on up. This is Don Reno's young son, Dale Reno. I'll give him a hand as he comes up here. Bye, dog. He's a fine young man. Dale uh, started playing the mandolin about three months ago, and he picks better than I do already. And uh, the way he's interested and the way he uh, rehearses and everything, I'll guarantee you in a couple of years he's going to outplay all of us. Uh, if he if he if he's anything like his older brother Ronnie and his father Don, we all know he's going to be good. Give him a big hand, Dale Reno. We got part of the part of the Tar Heels bass plate. Uh, right. Men up here got their bass player, <coughs> and now we got part of Don Reno's. We can get somebody from the Lewis family and some of the other boys. We'd have a pretty good band of our own, wouldn't we? <laughs> we we just stay in. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we, could, we could really go into business then, couldn't we? Maybe tomorrow we get the whole stage full. <laughs> maybe we get Ralph Stanley to help us tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Have I got time to do some yeah, of my love? I wanted... You had a request for that. Okay, well, I'll play that and then I'll get out of the way because you've had some requests and Tommy has and uh, we, we want to be sure and get them all on. That's good. I'm so glad that we've had some requests. Somewhere my love. We hope you like it. <laughs> I don't believe it's either one of them to stay the truth about it. I believe it's me and Tommy Jackson. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? <sighs> I guess it's, is it my time? I'm up here anyway, it must be. <laughs> Tommy, since we got some requests, we'll answer one of them right now. You hit me pick on this and I'll hit you pick on yours. It's uh, a little thing I recorded down here for Adoram uh, a couple of weeks ago. Play it in G. If you get lost, just go to D and wait on us. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> That's about the only way I can tell him how to go. I don't know. It's something like this. Well, 
a nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. Buddy for my size, buddy for my size. Well, roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. Buddy, how can it roll when the wheels gonna roll? Roll on, boy. It's a long way to go Just to get a little booze Just to get a little booze Well, roll on, buddy Don't you roll so slow Buddy, how can it roll When the wheels won't roll Thank you so much. I appreciate your sympathy. <laughs> now, I tell you, let's get let's get Tommy to answer some requests that we've had. And I appreciate the boys, all the musicians, all backstage asking these requests. <laughs> no, that ain't right. <laughs> Tommy's got one of the real old-time binder tunes written back in the early '30s. This is one. That, uh, Bonnie and Clyde used for their theme song when they robbed the banks. <laughs> this one called the Foggy Mountain Breakdown.
<laughs> but uh, I've shrunk a little bit, yeah. Remember when I was 13 years old, I was as tall as I am now. I wasn't quite as heavy, but I was as tall. Squatting to get into that microphone. <laughs> I guess so. You ain't drunk too much to stand in a hole now. <laughs> this young man uh, is only 12 years old. He's going to come out and uh, play us a couple of tunes on the fiddle. And then we have another fiddle player that's coming out right after him. But we want you to give him a big hand. He uh, plays real good fiddle. His name is Mark Sigmund. Give Mark a big hand when he comes out. Mark is also a Tar Heel. Where, where are you from, Mark? Are you from Conover? Newton, Newton, North Carolina. And as we said, he's 12 years old, and he's going to play us a couple of tunes, and we know you're going to enjoy. What's your first tune, Mark? Devil's Dream. Devil's Dream, all righty. Mark's going to play one now that is a favorite of everybody's, and you'll probably hear it played several times tomorrow, but uh, he said he'd like to do this one, and we know you will enjoy this one, too. It's called the Orange Blossom Special. Right. Here goes five more pounds off of Joe Stewart. Thank you. 
coming back tomorrow. Come up and do one more, Mark. Just one more. Old Joe Clark. Old Joe Clark. Right back and let it fly. Thank you. Mark says he'll be back tomorrow, so uh, I'm sure we'll have a chance to get him out here to do some more fine fiddle playing for you tomorrow. We're going to bring another young man out right now that that started playing the fiddle when he was about Mark's age, and he is uh, getting to be recognized as one of the very best in the business, and he's going to come out and play about, <laughs> about 15 or 20 minutes for you, some real fine old-time fiddle tunes. Let's make him welcome with a great big hand, J.B. Prince, as he comes out. Hold it! My kindness. I just want to match. I do too. <laughs> You notice him when he reached in his pocket there, he's got his program all out, wrote out on a little yellow piece of paper. That's what he said to me when he come over, he said, Reuben Drill. <laughs> this is the next tune he's gonna play. This is, this, huh? <laughs> Bless his heart, <laughs> hooray for him. <laughs> this is a tune that a lot of fiddle players are, and the style that they're picking up now to play. The young fellas getting the head start on them. This is, this, this is a good fiddle tune, Reuben's Reel. Okay, let's play. Let's play.
<laughs> All right, that's an A too, Asia. Yeah. <laughs> Say, let me ask you something before we get into this next tune. I know you've been, uh, well, you're not, you've not been playing fiddle too awfully long. You started when you was about 12, though, didn't you? About 10 or 11. 10 or 11. How many contests have you won? I don't know, really. You don't know? No. You beat out some good fiddle players, though, hadn't you? Uh, what now? You beat out some real good fiddle players, though, hadn't you? Well, they thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most he's ever said in front of Mike, and I've been on him two or three years. <laughs> Here's a song that uh, he's going to play, though, that I had the pleasure playing a guitar behind this on the, the original record. One of Kenny Baker's tunes, right. One called The Festival Walls. Almost same thing as a while ago, wasn't it? Reuben's Reel. Now, how about Reuben's Ridge? Oh. That same thing. Oh, no. Uh, no. Done gone. <laughs> done gone? All right. He's done gone. Okay. It's both on the same album. Oh, you got an album? <laughs> you got a new album? No. That's that. Kitty's album. Oh. Okay. I thought you done recorded one. No. Thank you. 
Hayes, you want to play this time? Sally. Sally. <laughs> so I told him, go ahead. I said, you go ahead and tell him what you're going to play this time. I said, no, you do it. <laughs> oh, wait. Here's a, here's a favorite of all the old time fiddle players and a new one too. This is one called Sally Gooden. Sally was a good one. Jenkins in A. I might have to do like a dollar. Tommy and him, if I get lost, I'll just go to D and wait on him. <laughs> Somebody kind of show me where that's at. <laughs> okay, road to Jenkins. Thank you. 
I, he, he was telling me the name of the tune. He was over there, I thought he was asking me, when are you going to stop? I thought I stopped pretty good on that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, this is a good old time, dude. I know a lot of people think, well, it's monotonous boy standing up there and playing a fiddle all this time, but if you'll just think back a few years ago and back what the man that originated bluegrass music said, he built the, the music around the, the fiddle. And I, I believe it's got a pretty good place in bluegrass music. I, uh, I thought mine did till these two fellas come up here and started playing. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it in the car. It's an old time when one called Twinkle a little star. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> J.B. Prince and his fiddle. How about another nice hand for J.B.? Young fellow that's doing all right. Thank you so much. I don't know what to, these young boys coming up here in two and three years and doing what it took me and Red 40 years to do. <laughs> and we still ain't got it right. We ain't got that's a chance. That's the reason I read the want ads every day, I'll yeah. guarantee you. <laughs> Red, let me say, uh, I know that's our last number out here and we've got some more, lot more entertainment. Right. Let me mention the fact that I have got some little 45 RPM records up there at the top of the thing. The, that top of the hill up there. That's one of them nine inch records that got a 10 inch hole right in the middle of it. You get your money's worth. <laughs> What'd you say? Is that a record? No, but it's a darn good average. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, well. <laughs> you, can play, you can play it on, a, not on an eight inch turntable. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you take one of them home with you. It's not that I need the money, but the people I owe kindly hounded me about it a little bit, you know. <laughs> mercy, mercy, much, mercy. Much obliged anyway. <laughs> oh, remember, uh, as you go out, Joe does have some records. Well, everybody does. Lewis family, uh, Reno and Harold, and uh, 
I have some of my albums up there in the back that you might like to look at. Uh, can't ever tell, they might come in handy this fall <laughs> when the wind starts howling. Don't forget tomorrow we're going to get things started at 1 o'clock and uh, a lot of your favorite entertainers will be coming in tomorrow. Like uh, Ralph Stanley and the French Mountain Boys will be here and uh, many, many others.